Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another random Quake C mod. Um, as usual, we're checking out these things, find out when God's name is this various shovelware that we found, and well, cataloging all these random 1996 things, as usual. Um, so this time around, we're checking out something called, well, Cluster, I guess. Yeah, we're, we're not really given much information on what it is. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's see here, um, basically, it, it's been basically moved from the default of from 25 to 70, because 70 has a lot of free ones near it, so I guess that's the change log or whatnot, but yeah, basically, um, yeah, you use, um, the impulse 70 and you basically do it. So, yeah, you have a bunch of different things in there, you have a cu cu um, custom obituary, you have a bunch of different random stuff. Um, yeah, basically, uh, there's a bunch of different codes run all around creation, but at the same time, it really was done just to make it transparent to people what's going on. Um, mostly it's, you know, re really, really simple whatnot, what's going on. Um, you know, it's really j all just for one weapon. Basically, it's a cluster launcher like a rock, uh, the grenade launcher. Um, choose it and hit attack. Okay, now the question is, how exactly does one get it? Is it, is it basically replacing the grenade launcher? I don't know. I don't know exactly where exactly the grenade launcher versus cluster launcher is. We'll have to figure that one out. So, like, if I go to, like, E3M2, that's a good one with the grenade launcher. We'll run down here and we'll pick up the grenade launcher and say, is this a cluster launcher? The world may never know. If it's a if it's a coastal launcher, this is a really horrible coastal launcher. Okay, so um, how's one? Wait, how will impulse help me? I need impulse nine. Um, so yeah, you get all these guns, and then you do impulse seventy, and you get the coastal launcher apparently. Or is it impulse twenty-five? Yeah, see, he says it's impulse seventy, but it's actually impulse twenty-five. Um. Yeah, it's backwards the way you said. But as you see, this is the cluster launcher. So, stupid question. If I do this by default, I don't have a weapon. I don't have the cluster launcher. I assume it's only when you get the um, grenade launcher that you can get it. So, once again, it's like another weapon mode. Not enough ammo. Give our 200. And then you do impulse 25. There we are. So let's see here. So if we give R200 and we don't pick up um, the weapon, as you see, it, it's a problem that you need the... So if I say give, I don't know, sets, that will basically then allow me to do that. Except it won't. Interesting. As you see, no weapon. I couldn't just get it by using Impulse 25, people. As you notice, I picked up um, the grenade launcher, you see impulse, well, give sets, and that didn't give me the weapon I need. It appears now where the grenade launcher spawns, yes, but it's a totally separate weapon. Yeah, you only get the message of the grenade launcher, but it's with the grenade launcher. Yes, you see, it's very, very similar to all the other ones we've seen. There we are. So yeah, you basically throw it, it separates into a bunch of them, as all, basically all these have been. But yeah, interesting little detail, like I said, um, the cluster launcher is not the grenade launcher, believe it or not. It's located in the same location as it, but one very key difference. And that would be the whole fact of matter that if I try and do give sets, um, that will not give me the, um, cluster launcher. That only gives me the grenade launcher, which means it's a totally separate weapon. This is a different weapon, everybody. As, as much as it doesn't seem it, that is the case here, because of that slight distinct difference. Um, like I said, otherwise you'd be able just to pick it up or whatnot. It's in the same location as the grenade launcher. Um, but otherwise, very, very similar. Um, so let's see here. So, if you toss it, as you see, it gives seven grenades. I wonder if it's actually seven, like, 
thrown or if it's just like seven in general but the cost let's see here can I see how many like gets run there let's see here one two three four five six seven yeah it looks like it's seven grenades being tossed yep exactly seven so that's exactly how it works it's just like the grenade regular grenade launcher but instead of it, you know, throwing one grenade, it splits apart into seven. We've seen this kind of before with the PvP and various ones, but we've never seen it as its own separate weapon, which is a slight difference, as I said. I said, not really that spectacular because we have seen it before, just not in this specific style. So, um, yeah, that, that that's pretty much that. And of course, if you shoot straight at an enemy, It'll still separate. But as you see, it's still the regular death message if you die due to the grenade launcher. Um, really, the only obituary that's been changed seems to be the, um... Hmm. What you call it? There was a certain obituary that was changed. I think, if I'm correct. Let me see here if there was actually a changed obituary according to him. So let's see here, there's um, the grenade launcher, but where is the cluster? Oh, okay, yep, choked by, gib, jib by cluster bomb. So yeah, there's different stuff in here for the cluster bomb. And it does seem to be its own separate entity, which is not something you could say for a lot of these. Um, if you haven't noticed through a lot of these different ones, when you pick up one gun, you get all the different alternative modes. That's the big difference between, say, this, and say, a lot of these other ones, whereby um, giving me sits and whatnot, and then basically doing it would have been enough to basically give me all these overpowered modes. Um, in this particular one, you needed to basically call it separately. It, it calls up with a separate function. You hold it like a regular gun, so it isn't just um, something that you press. It, it basically is the same as, say, like the BFG or something like that was, with the core difference that you basically can't just, um, you don't, you don't get like a message when you pick you up, you just get the grenade launcher. That seems to be the big thing or whatnot. You're not getting like a message uh, or whatnot for it. So it's kind of like, um, how like the Willy the Spider was, except Willy the Spider was just that sole entity. Because this is being added on top of the world entity for the grenade launcher, that's kind of why you see the grenade launcher message, but not seeing that there's also a cluster launcher. So yeah, like I said, um, you can't just get the cluster launcher by getting the grenade launcher. Um, you can if you do it in world, but you can't do it through cheats. And that is a big, big, like I said, difference between the two. And one way to really tell that this is a separate entity. This does deserve its own page. It's its own little separate thing. So, um, yeah. A little bit of a th rant or whatnot. Just a ramble about why exactly this does it. And, like, most don't. Um, I, I don't believe I've ever, like, messed that up or whatnot. Who knows? But I think, like I said, yo. Know, a uh, big uh, way to tell is also, usually when it's own, its own separate item, them, they usually dis, um, devote its like own QC code to like its own separate entity. Like for this one, it actually gives you like its own separate cluster that QC um, entity or whatnot that's separate from everything else. That's especially true when it comes to enemies, um, but it also somewhat the case when it comes to weapons. Even though most weapons are usually just lumped into um, the weapons and um, QC file. As, as I said, a lot of these I have tried out in the past and whatnot. You have seen kind of as I've gone along. Um, a lot of these have been distinctly saying modes or whatnot. And as I said, this is basically its own launcher. It's the cluster launcher. I specifically said that. And like I said, it, it doesn't really give you many messages. It really doesn't show you much. Um, and if, if you die due to it yourself, it still will give a similar message to a grenade launcher. But as you see, it works fine with both messages. That's kind of why. Um, and like I said, it does have, like, um, cluster bomb being mentioned or whatnot as, like, an attack or whatnot. So anyway, as I said, I've been rambling for a while. Thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure. I guess I'll see you all, well, next time.